Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and last week I did a video where I recreated a painting that I did four years ago as a tutorial here on YouTube, and I thought I'd pick another painting that I did four years ago and try and recreate it again because that was a lot of fun and I feel like I've come a long way. So this one I'm going to be doing my layered florals and I've already done it. I have to tell you, I think this one is a good one. You're going to love it. So let's jump in and get started. Okay friends, so today I am again recreating one of my old watercolor tutorials from four years ago. I had such success with my last one that I decided to pick another one which has done really well and see how I would do it today. And I think this one may be more fun. Um, so we are gonna be doing layered flowers, which if you don't know, layering is when you are painting wet on dry. So you lay down a layer, you wait for it to completely dry, and then you paint over top creating a nice layer. And the key to this is using a light wash so you can see the layer underneath. This gives a beautiful effect. Um, it's different than wet on wet, which I did for my last uh, video where I tried to do an old tutorial. Like I said, you're painting wet on dry. So that's what we're going to do for this. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to change up the composition to see how I would do it today and yeah, so let's jump right in. Today I am using my Arcar Creation watercolor set. Those are the ones right here and then the paints along this side are the K Hannah's Honey Hues handmade watercolors. I wanted to use that vibrant pink one again, make this a very vibrant, bright, colorful piece. So I'm using the Arcar Creations for that and then I'll probably be using um, the K Hannah Honey hues for some other parts. But that's why I wanted to use this palette today. And then I'm painting on an Academy watercolor block and then I have my paintbrushes and we're ready to jump in. Oh, and I forgot I wanted to mention I'm gonna be using this heat tool to dry my paper in between layers. It just helps speed along the process instead of having to wait for it to dry because that can take a little while. So this is just a simple one that I got years ago. Nothing fancy. It has an on off switch right there. You can get them on Amazon. Not this exact one, but they're all very much the same. It's just a heat craft tool. I will try and link one below. Um, or you can use a low powered hair dryer that should also work too. But that's what I'm going to be using to dry in between. Okay, so now let's jump in. So I'm going to start with my filbert brush and I'm going to start by taking my light wash of the colors that I want to use. I'm just wetting them up to start and I'm going to use my bright pink color to begin. So the trick with doing wet on dry and this layering effect is that you want to work with light washes, meaning there's more water than pigment. So you get this very light value and what this does is it just helps layer up gradually so you can see those individual layers underneath. If you use too much pigment and it's too dark, you're going to miss the beauty of the layering. So try and use less pigment, more water, not like a ton of water where it's like a super watery um, petal that you're laying down, but just more water so it's a lighter value. And so here I'm just doing three petals with kind of like a jagged edge to it. They're all kind of pointing towards the middle. And as you can see, they're not touching. So that's key with this. You want to make sure they don't touch. Um, and then I might just add a little bit of this like bright neon color in there. Just a little bit to give it a bit of variation. Then I might just add a little bit more color in there just for a bit of texture. Not a ton, just a little bit. And because it's wet and I'm adding the wet paint, it's just gonna be like a soft transition of darker colors to lighter colors. Okay, so let's let that completely dry and work on another flower. So I think I'm gonna do a side view of a flower. I'm just gonna use this like neon-y kind of color, mix it with the pink a bit. And again, still using my filbert brush, I'm gonna do this single petal with the jagged tips. Add a little bit of yellow in there. And then I'm gonna do one more, I think, just below. Just grab a little bit of yellow, mix it with that peach a bit. 
and then we're gonna do another flower kind of like that middle pink one. So again, jagged edges, a little bit more. Still using that light wash just so it's really nice and light. I'm gonna do kind of like a curved petal. And again, it's not touching that first one because we're gonna be adding layers, like another petal layering over the two petals that are side by side. I'm just adding a little bit of orange in there. And then I'm gonna do one bigger petal, I think, at the bottom. Like that. A little bit more orange. Drag it to the center a little bit. And I'm just adding, like tapping in the tiniest amount of color, not a lot at all. Okay, so now we want everything to completely dry. Oh, before we do that, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more color, um, just to the bottoms. Like it can be nice and light, but I just wanna add a little bit more to it. See what that will look like towards the end. Maybe a bit of like purple or something towards the center, just to make it a little bit darker. I don't even know what flowers these necessarily are gonna be. Maybe kind of like poppies, but not, I don't know. And you know what? Your floral paintings don't always have to be something specific. Okay, you can just do, go with the flow and do whatever painting you want of a made up flower. So now I'm just drying it. So I'm gonna skip ahead until it's dry. Okay, so now that it's dry, we are gonna work on our second layers. So for this, I think I'm gonna just change up the colors just a little bit. Um, I wanna keep it still kind of on the pink side, but I'm gonna add a little bit of purple to it just to change it up just a tight, a tiny bit. And again, we want to make sure it's a nice light wash so you can see this first layer underneath. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here's the petal and I'm doing it, it's overlapping those first two petals. So you want it nice and light so you see that layer over top. And it just gives a really nice transparent look to it. And then I'm gonna do another one overlapping those two. And all these petals have nice like jagged edges. You see that layering? I'm just gonna add a little bit, I think, more color, just like we did to the first layers, just a tad bit, because you don't want it to overshadow those first layers necessarily. You wanna be able to see it underneath but I just wanna add a little bit of textured kind of petals or texture to our petals, like so. Okay, and then we will finish it off with another layer of petals. Okay, so let's move on to the next flower. Doing the same kind of thing, we're just making this one a side view, so all the petals are gonna be facing one way. And again, I'm just changing up the color slightly. So I just have one petal kind of to the side there, and then I'll do another one below. And they're all facing the same way, so it's just that side view. So this one might be a little bit thinner. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more darkness to the tips of the petals. Again, not overshadowing the layers too much, just a small amount of color, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna let that dry, and let's move on to the last one. So I'm gonna have this one just a, like a tad bit on the orangier side, I think. So just a little bit of that pink into our yellow. And then again, we're just creating petals that are overlapping uh, two of the first petals. Like so. I might go back in. So see how the first petals were a bit more yellow, these ones are a bit more orange, just changing it up a bit. Might go back in and add a little bit more darkness to the edges. Maybe the, maybe the purple, just towards the center. I think the biggest test with these flowers is just, you know, using less paint than you think you need. 
you really want to have this transparent look to it and if you use too much paint it could go wrong so less paint lighter values okay okay now I'm gonna do the leaves and the stems and just because we have an idea of where all the petals are going and I think with this what I want to do is I want to my original one, my leaves were not very great, <laughs> but I kind of want to add more leaves and have the overlapping and layering happen with the leaves as well. So I'm just going to start with the stems and then we're going to do some leaves that are a little bit different and layering as well. So I just want to start by making a stem um, coming off one of the main stems and then I'm going to do like a set of clustered leaves here and that's where I can kind of overlap them and layer them. So I'm going to do one at the end here, end, end here. I'm just using this bright green one a little bit further down, but not too much because I do want to do another leaf in between where they're going to overlap with these two and then the same on this side. And for my leaf shapes this time, I didn't want them to be so like perfect leaf shapes. I want to give them a little bit more movement, a little bit more curves, jaggedness to them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just wiggling my brush a bit to give them a bit of movement. And I think I want to darken some of these up. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my green. It just makes it a little bit more cooler, darker, like so. And the paints that I'm using for this, these are the K Hannah Honey Hues. I forget which color they are, but if you watch, if you watch the review of these paints, I think I go through the names of them. So I'm just going to do another stem of leaves over this side. Again, little cluster but I want to make sure that they're not so far apart that I'll be able to layer them somehow. Might even go over the petal a bit. I don't know. Do I want to? Yeah, why not? Let's layer it. <laughs> it's like they're all transparent kind of flowers and, and leaves. I really love the color of this green. It's beautiful. Okay, there we go. Add a little bit of yellow in there. And then maybe I'll do one towards the bottom, I think. So again, just doing another stem here for the leaves. I think this is cut off in the video a little bit. <laughs> I didn't realize my camera was so high. Um, just moving it around. Yeah, you can't see me painting down there. Whoopsie doodle. All right, so I'm gonna skip ahead so where you can see me. <laughs> Okay, so now I've quickly dried everything on my paper and I'm just gonna do another round of layered petals. Just I want them to be a bit fuller and fluffier. So again, I'm doing another layer of petals in between the last two that we just did. So this is gonna be over top of that first initial petal that we did. And just so we don't lose the bigger petal underneath, I'm just making it a little bit smaller, slightly darker. I think I go a little bit too dark at the beginning and then I just lift a bit up with my, my brush. Um, just because I don't want it too, too dark. I don't want to lose those layers. So I'm just going to do another layer all around. Okay, so now that we've finished the petals really really quickly I'm gonna do my second layer of leaves and so here I'm doing another layer of leaves in between those initial ones and I want them to touch or like layer over top um, the first layer so here we go I'm just doing them slightly of a darker color just a little bit more blue tap a little bit of yellow in there again we still want to make sure it's light enough that you will see those layers underneath you don't want to go so dark that you lose the layers so again just Kind of filling it in and if you want to add a little bit of darkness i suggest doing it to maybe like one side of the leaf or to the base so here i'm just adding a little bit of blue see to the one side so you don't completely lose the layer but it also does give it a bit of variety and i'm really loving the way that these leaves are turning out so i'm going to kind of leave you with me doing the rest of these leaves a little bit of music because it's just really relaxing and calming and then I do the center of the flowers for the center of the flowers I just took a little bit of indigo which you'll see at the end um, and I'm just doing really light uh, kind of like strokes they're not I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want a lot of attention drawn to the center because I really want the fluffiness of those petals uh, to show out and I still want to keep it kind of light and airy so you'll just see but that's about it so 
here is the painting. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest and I'll see you at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.